Tony Mob Panda here and I have another juicy review for you. I have Crazy Goat Vapes. If you're a member of uh, Vape Fam Australia, you'll notice that it's just basically in your face and for damn good reason. Uh, the the flavours on their range are just nicely mixed, the sweetness isn't over the top and just flavour for days. And there are certain uh, flavours that just blow your mind. Now this is the uh, list from when you get a sample pack. Don't know how well it's going to come up but yes yeah, so if you get a sample pack which is uh, all 16 uh, normal flavours that they have. They do have uh, Gary the Goat flavours as well but you don't get them in the sample pack. Um, but yeah so I could not actually decide what I wanted to actually uh, just buy so I was looking through it going oh uh, yeah uh, no, I wouldn't mind. And um, but that looks good. And I went, bugger it! I'll just get the whole lot, sit down, look at it, and figure out what I should go for. And there is still all these that I hadn't even gone through yet. But oh well, I better put them down. One nearly hit the damn dog, but oh well, poor thing. Look at him down there. Um, so. I'll just start with the one that uh, absolutely damn well everyone is talking about. And that, in this little empty bottle here, is just like that much left, um, is Black Mango. Show you the bottle there, once it gets into uh, this decent amount of light there. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, black currant and mango with, I'd say, a fairly good amount of cooling on it, but the, it's uh, not annoying. So it's actually very complimentary the amount of cooling. The only problem is if you vape it an absolute heap it can get close to a brain freeze. It's great. Um, but yeah it's in this very messy tube of mine. So uh, yeah I've got it in here and I'll have a bit of a and just the flavours, they're so very well mixed, they're not overly sweet, and you basically get both the black currant and the mango at you at the same time. Um, you sort of don't really discern until you've been sitting on it for a little bit, really. But it's just a really good flavour combination, and that uh, cooling just makes it just incredibly enjoyable. I'm actually quite sad that I'm almost out of it. It, um, yeah, it's really that good. Um, wow! Another one that is similar is uh, Fruity Grenade. I have also tried that one pretty well with, once it gets lighting changed and bugger I'll just let, there we go, it's not overexposed now. Um, yeah, Fruity Grenade is a black cherry and a piece of paper on the floor, I can't bother looking at it. Uh, black cherry, guava and a little bit of um, watermelon. And you do get that watermelon aftertaste on it. And again, it's the same as a black mango. It, uh, the uh, cooling on it is, you know, just as much, but it's not, again, over the top. It is quite cool though. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, uh, but yeah, this, this one I enjoyed, but not quite as much as a black mango. So. So that's that one. And we go further down the line, we'll go for another one that is a Faruti, which is Bug Brains. I'm going to try to remember, lady, what the hell's in them. Oh yes, so we've got uh, strawberry, mango and pineapple. And from memory, look, this is the reason I have them, you know, here, is so it, it jogs my memory of what it actually comes off like. And, And yes, you do get that sort of little bit candy-ish uh, strawberry and mango in there, but I think it's more due to the, uh, it's actually a candy uh, sort of fruity pineapple aftertaste on it. And it's very well mixed. It's actually a really good flavour.
Yeah, the pi pineapple is pineapple and the mango seem to be more over the top of everything else. And if you like your fruity vapes, I tell you what, they, the ones that I've just tried are absolutely bloody awesome. And the next one is kiwi cocktail. And I can guarantee the bloody light isn't going to. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. Now your kiwi cocktail is uh, kiwi fruit and strawberry. And upon taking it in, now you get the kiwi fruit and the strawberry pretty much coming in straight off the bat. But you get left with a nice pink lemonade aftertaste to it. Still getting that little bit of kiwi fruit and strawberry in there, but the pink lemonade sort of over the top of it. And that, that, that pink lemonade definitely lingers. And it makes it just that so much enjoyable. And then I'll start getting onto some of the desserty ones. And it says Raspberry Glory Hole. Wish this thing would um, adjust the slide a little bit better, but yeah, that's, that's, that's Raspberry Glory Hole. Raspberry Glory Hole is a, uh, believe it or not, it's raspberry and strawberry jam in a donut. A little bit of glaze on it. And I have it in here. Straight away that donut flavour just hits you in the face basically. And you can sort of taste the jammy strawberry raspberry jam in there and um, you're not really getting much of that glaze. I know you get that glaze when you... Oh actually no you really get it when you exhale. And that is really good. It's oh, it's really good. It's all of these are good as all day vapes because they're just the, the flavors of that well balanced, and yeah, they they really are that good. Um, then I've got the fat New Yorker. Is it going to focus? Possibly not. But yes, that is the fat New Yorker right there. And I have that in here, which is a Marawi. It's a smooth New York cheesecake on pecan crumble topped with a caramel swirl. And you're definitely getting that pecan crumble in there, and uh, the aftertaste that lingers is sort of crumbly and caramelly and damn button issue on the uh, rage occasionally sticks that is really enjoyable but should that crumble and the caramel swirl on it just these are the really nice caramelly aftertaste so another one that is again as I said the whole lot is good for all day vapes that the, the flavors are just awesome and then for those of you that like vanilla vanilla custard just vanilla just this is sinful vanilla and it's not focusing you bastard just if I do it like get my face out of it there we go I need to learn where to chuck this thing but anyway that's sinful vanilla and it's a uh, Vanilla custard with, where are we? Yes, that's, that's right. Vanilla custard, vanilla gelato with a vanilla topping. Just vanilla. But, you're definitely getting that vanilla custard. And it was a flavor that when I first tried it, I couldn't quite pick it, and it's actually the gelato. And even a little bit more vanilla on top of that. But if you like your uh, vanilla custards, and you want something just that little bit different, and it's still got that vanilla custard flavour to it, 
I'd highly recommend getting the Sinful Vanilla. It really... It has a really nice flavour to it. And you're definitely getting that vanilla custard in there, but it's just that little bit of vanilla of gelato that sort of differentiates from you know any other vanilla flavour that I've tried so far. And again, it's another one that I really enjoy. And yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's really bloody good. Now, this is one that um, I'm really not sure about. Just because... Oh, it's well actually I'm not really into my great flavors but this is hubbly bubbly let me see if I can get that in the right sort of spot to, there we go hubbly bubbly it's a um, it's a fruity grape plus a candy grape and I don't know the, the, the mixture for me the mixture for me is just a little bit odd but you do get that hubba bubba grape sort of flavour to it as you're exhaling, which I do find enjoyable, but it's just, for me it's odd, to just just the, having the sort of, you know, the, the grape flavour with the candy grape flavour, it just, for me, mm, I'm sure some of you out there would enjoy this, but for me it's just odd. It's enjoyable, but Especially on the exhale, it's really enjoyable, but it's not something that personally I would vape all the time. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've tried out of the whole lot. And then there's you know a whole heap that I haven't. There's uh, seven that I haven't. Oh, there is one, and I don't have the bottle uh, here. Um, I have no idea where the bottle is, and I hope I damn well find it before tomorrow because it's actually in my work vape, and uh, it's uh, the. Morning Glory, that's the one. And it's a coffee flavour, it's a hazelnut coffee. Um, and that coffee bean flavour is brilliant. You've got a hazelnut sitting over the top of it, but as you're resting on it, you get that really rich, creamy flavour to it. It's really good. And this is one of the reasons I uh, made it into my uh, work setup because I find it another one that's incredibly enjoyable that I actually want to have on me at all times. And yeah, I can't say, can't say enough about that uh, the, the coffee flavour in it. It's just like a dark roasted coffee bean. So now that's the range. So. As you, can, as you can see earlier, there's, there's seven bottles there that I haven't tried yet. But I can guarantee the flavours would be just as brilliant as all the ones that I've just tried now. And I'll put a link into the description of their website. Um, as they only sell through their website, that way they get to have their one-on-one -on -one with the customer. They don't have to go through a shop and you know have someone you know whinge about it because of you know lack of service or anything like that. They like to know that their customers are actually happy. So they will be only going through their Facebook and their website. Um, but you can get their uh, sample packs, which is you know what I ended up with here. You can get your quad juice pack, and that's four fifteen uh, four thirty mils. Well, I don't know why I said fifteen mils, but yeah, they're thirty mils, and they're thirty five bucks. And you get to choose which ones you want. Then you get the deck couple, which is ten, and that is seventy dollars. And then you get the entire 16. That, at the moment, is $99. That is what I got, and it is damn good value. But um, just out of a, uh, a, a general uh, price tag here, $10 will get you your 30 mil. You can have a 120 mil for $35. a litre for $135 and if you actually contact them they'll actually make you a one litre and I have seen quite a fair few people getting the one litres like the black mango I 
think I'm probably end up getting something pretty large in the black mango. It, it really is highly enjoyable. Um, now, from here, sample packs. I've gone through that. I've gone through Crazy Goat. Ah, Gary the Goat. They've got uh, two flavours there. And they've got Gary the Goat, which is uh, 12 50 and Gary the Goat RIP, because he obviously passed away last year. And that also is uh, 12 50 They don't come in your sample packs, you have to get them separately. And they also have a whole array of uh, battery wraps on their site, they have uh, drip tips on their site. So, and they also get to have the, you know, some photos of the goats that are actually on their farm, which is where they got their name from. So, other than that, I've covered it, I think. Yes, I have. And uh, I think I'll grab my black mango and uh, cry because I'm almost finished it. I'm going to have to order some more and I think I might just get like a 120 ml bottle or something like that because it'll end up in the uh, my work mod. I'm just cleaning off my uh, tube because for some reason it's leaking. I think I may have gone and put a little bit too much in here and the well's sort of leaking out a little bit. But it happens. So uh, on that note I'm out. Job's done.